Switching gears once again, uh, my name is Yulia Goryeva. I've been a resident of the Department of Mineral Sciences for two years as a postdoc and recently hired as a trust employee. And one of my responsibilities is taking a care of uh, TOF SIMS uh, state-of-the-art uh, laboratory. Uh, TOF SIMS stands for Time of Flight Secondary Ionization Mass Spectrometry. I'm going to explain what it is a little bit, and I'm going to give you as uh, snapshots of different things that are being done or were uh, done recently uh, and what can be done with this machine. And I don't want you to think about that. I'd like you to think what you can do with this tool for your research specifically. So uh, if you imagine this cartoon actually running, and if you imagine that I actually have a laser pointer in my hand, uh, <laughs> then there is a eyes uh, pulsed uh, ion beam coming from the left, it hitting the surface, uh, extracting uh, atoms, particles, charged art particles, and compounds, both organic and inorganic. Uh, then they're all sent up the tube, uh, reflected, and reach the detector at different time. And that's where time of flight actually uh, comes uh, in the machine. I'm not gonna go uh, through all the advantages and disadvantages, but I want to, you to keep in mind a few things. First, this is a sample, a surface technique. It surface the first couple of monolayers of the surface. Uh, we can do spectral analysis, uh, analyzing again uh, elements, ions, uh, and compounds, uh, both organic and inorganic, both negative and positive. And we can do uh, surface images or uh, spatial distribution of uh, element of interest over the surface. Uh, four uh, major uh, application uh, or uh, direction where this uh, machine is uh, producing the data is surface spectrometry. Again, uh, non-running cartoon, uh, the ionized particles hitting the surface, extracting everything that is in that very top layer. And on the bottom, you see this mass. Uh, this is a spectrum that you get. Every single peak is a mass peak. Every single peak is an element or compound that is contained uh, in that particular surface and just label few elements. We can uh, map or analyze anything from hydrogen to mass 300 and higher. Uh, doing the same thing for uh, every pixel rastering the beam over the surface, uh, we get surface ion imaging. So for every little uh, piece uh, where the beam is, you get a spectrum like this and you can digest and extract your uh, elements of interest and actually produce a map of the surface. Uh, the same technique is used for depth profiling. You just mill down, taking uh, down the uh, first surface, taking an image or spectrum, uh, getting a little, uh, rid of a little bit more, uh, taking another spectrum or uh, surface, and you can actually uh, do 3D analysis, reconstructing, stacking this ion images together and trying to see uh, the uh, 3D uh, shape of the uh, object of interest below the surface of your sample. A uh, few snap bits. Uh, this is the work that is done by uh, Eloise Gailu and Jeff Post and others uh, in our department. Uh, they've done a wonderful work analyzing boron in uh, blue diamonds. And this is uh, our own uh, Hope Diamond mounted uh, on top left, unmounted uh, left bottom, and mounted yet again in the top seams machine. Uh, they found that uh, boron content uh, in, this, uh, uh, in this diamonds are actually mere a half of PPM concentration, it's incredibly low. They were able to measure it. One of the things why they were able actually to do such analysis on Hope Diamond, because the technique is virtually non-destructive. You only disturb the very, very top layer. Uh, another example uh, is a dosis analysis of appetites from Apollo Mara basalts. Uh, these are the ion images. Uh, you have examples of two uh, samples, two grains. On the very left, left are Raman spectra. In red are uh, fluor appetites. Uh, then there is a backscattered electron image. The appetite is labeled there as AP. And then followed by the uh, Tofsim's images of fluorine, uh, clearly associated with appetites, cl uh, chlorine, trace of chlorines and fluor appetites. And then hydroxyl uh, ion, also clearly associated with appetites. This is the evidence or very good evidence of actual water in the interior uh, of the moon. Appetites are magmatic uh, minerals in, uh, in these rocks. Uh, 
Uh, my major planetary effort is uh, imaging Genesis solar wind samples. Genesis uh, mission is a mission that went just outside of magnetosphere of Earth uh, and collected solar wind uh, on, in different regiments and solar flares and just background uh, solar winds. These are energetic particles that were implanted in those collectors on the right. These are beautiful silicon wafers. And everything went fine until it crash landed in Utah. Uh, the, uh, fortunately for Genesis, the samples of solar wind are not jeopardized because they're actually implanted in the collections, but not, uh, in the collectors. Uh, but now, instead of this wonderful silicon wafers, we have a pile, and the PI, uh, PI of the Genesis mission, Don Burnett, is sourcing through that. Uh, so the samples are there. Uh, the question is how to analyze them and to, not to mix them with terrestrial contamination, and that's where Antop comes from. Uh, comes in. Uh, on the left, there's a little piece of this uh, broken uh, silicon uh, wafer uh, that is presumed to be very clean to any other technique. Uh, but top seams, these are ion images, shows that there are still particles of sodium, calcium, potassium, and so forth on the surface. So we can actually make a recommendation of how to clean them and uh, ultimately produce verifiably clean collection uh, at the Johnson Space Center of uh, chips that are clean for other analysis. Uh, this is just a, uh, another example of 3D analysis. This is actually the, um, uh, by Sandra Silger, I don't know if she's here. Um, uh, this is a 3D analysis of oil inclusion of uh, quartz and quartzite. And I'm gonna close on that. Uh, again, just think about what you can do with this kind of technique uh, in application to your research. Thank you. Thank you.